What's up, fiends? Alucard here. Today's 2B Tuesday, we have Bollywood Evil Dead. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I took a look at the Bollywood Evil Dead, a.k.a. Bakke Zara. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that terribly. My apologies to anyone. Uh, But yeah, so this movie was made actually in 2008, and I'm kind of shocked by that because it looks like it was filmed in 1988 you know in film stock wise and then they dress like it's 1998 so that's that's kind of, I, I was really really shocked to see it was 2008 but okay so now i am not i am not a uh bollywood aficionado or anything i have seen maybe two <laughs> bollywood movies in my lifetime this would be the second um the first one was actually pretty awesome. It's a movie called Revolution, uh, aka Mirathon. It was basically the Bollywood version of World War Z, and it was about a thousand times better than World War Z. So I had high hopes for this one, <laughs> and I just so happened to see it on Tubi, and I was like, I absolutely have to watch this right now. So we did. So it was released by Shimaru Entertainment and Jayas Films. Um, Again, if I'm mispronouncing something, my apologies, not my intention. It is written and directed by Salim Raza. So basically this story starts out with an archaeologist named Sharma. And he ends up finding the Book of the Dead during an excavation. And this is what the Book of the Dead looks like in this film. So yeah, it, it's kind of it kind of has the big nose, and it's it, you know it's kind of it's kind of funny looking. I, at least at least I think it's pretty funny looking. Um, so Sharma goes home uh, to make love to his wife Maya, and it, uh, I do find that the uh, the the love scenes in in, in this movie go on like way too long. <laughs> And they don't even they don't even show anything. That's the funny part. But anyway, while they're while they're getting busy, uh, Maya starts to get enthralled with the book. But so does Sharma. So Sharma ends up going over and starts reading from the book. Again, you find an ancient thing or something. Don't read it out loud. Don't chant. Don't. Why? Why would you do that? I don't understand why people do this, but I guess people do. Anyway, long story short, Maya ends up getting possessed and she attacks Sharma with like this giant knife thing she finds. And also an axe, as you can see in the picture. This is the Sharma's on on your left and uh, Maya's on the right, of course. So anyway... Sharma ends up grabbing the knife yeah, he, from her and ends up uh, killing her. But she ends up coming back with the axe, like in the picture. So she keeps coming back. All of a sudden, we just cut to a music video. Um, now, I am aware that a lot of these movies do this. Um, uh, in, in Bollywood, they always go to like a musical number and whatnot. So you know, I was expecting that. I wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't like, "What the hell is this?" I was like, "Okay, yeah, I knew it was coming." But the song is sung by I think one of the producers of the movie. If I, I believe I read that right, and the lyrics basically uh, have nothing to do with anything. It's like, "Come to the world of happy people and love your life." Like that's what the song's about. It was, you know, it was a fairly catchy little song. I'm not going to lie. It was, you know, not exactly my type of music, but, you know, it was catchy nonetheless. Uh, so now we cut to the real story. Uh, so now we have five students and they're on the way to the beach. And their names are, and I am not making any of this up, 
<clears throat> we have we have two guys and three girls. The guys are named Raja and Sunny. And the girls are named Sheena, Nicole, and Sweetie. Yes, her name is Sweetie. I love it. So anyway, Sweetie is chilling on on a hammock, right? And then she suddenly sees uh, a singing ghost that appears like in the forest. This is the this is the singing ghost, and she's just kind of going around singing, just floating around singing and being weird, and it's pretty funny. Um, the uh, now that the other four are are all paired off, so they're like boyfriend girlfriend. They're off, you know, doing that stuff. And so the ghost is singing a song about "Come see me, come follow me," blah blah blah. And she ends up leading Sweetie to a house in the middle of the, the beach. So it's a house; it's not a cabin. So the house actually ends up talking to Sweetie, and it says, "Why are you Why are you standing there? Come inside," kind of thing. So, so Sweetie runs away. And uh, there's a bunch of POV shots, you know, very, very much like Evil Dead. So now all of a sudden, she she runs back to the the, the four other ones, and she's like, she's like, I just saw this ghost, you know, she's telling them what's going on. I saw this ghost led me to this cat, uh, this house and stuff, and blah blah blah. Then all of a sudden, we meet up with an occultist. That is what they end up calling him. I didn't know what to call him until they said it afterwards. But he shows up and he warns them about being on the island. They're going to die type of thing. Nobody comes here. And this is what the occultist looks like. Yeah. So that I don't I, I, did, I didn't quite get occultist out, out of this. But um, OK, that's that's what they that's what they reference reference him as throughout the movie. And here we also learn that there's only one bridge in and out of in and out of the island. And a lot of the times. The bridge goes out. So the group, of course, wants to head to the house and check it out. So they go to the house. And the house really reminds me of the original Texas Chainsaw House. There is a really kind of neat little scene here. Uh, when Sonny goes up to uh, the door, he kind of looks over at, at a swing set. And the swing set, it starts, you know, starts swinging, and then it like pauses, like in midair, like, and it pauses like this. And it was, it was like he was like, "Oh well, that's weird. I'm gonna go in," you know, kind of thing. It, it, it was kind of funny. So as they go in, Sonny discovers uh, the knife from earlier and the axe, and also uh, there's a suddenly there's a rifle involved as well on on a table. And uh, yeah, they, they don't really talk too much about this, but it comes into play later. Um, now, our our heroine, I guess you could say Sweetie, uh, she's roaming the house and she discovers Maya from the beginning, you know, the, the this girl. Uh, she's like lying in the bed, like dead looking. She's got, you know, she's got the blood coming down the mouth, the whole deal. So the group decides to bury Maya because they don't want to get in trouble. They don't want anyone to think they did it. So let's just hide the body. It makes perfect sense, right? So they go and dig a, a grave for her. They go back and, of course, Maya's gone. But this is the first fake out because the whole thing was – that whole part was a dream because Sweetie suddenly wakes up and, like, none of, none of that happened. So it's like, man, come on. Now, all of a sudden, a locked door slams open. So, Sonny goes to investigate, and he this, this is what he discovers, the Book of the Dead. Also, he also finds a record player. He's like, oh, let's play a song. So, it starts playing a song, and then it morphs into this guy doing these chants. Of course, Sweetie freaks out. So, now Sweetie runs into the singing ghost again. Singing that same song, come see me, blah, blah, blah. 
and then but but there's just some additional lyrics here in this one and um i i guess it's kind of lost in translation a little bit the, what the subtitles say that she's singing is i am a living dead i'm a living dead <laughs> yeah so that that i don't know i i i i I chuckled at that. I know, I know that that's not the intention, but I thought it was pretty boring. So now, sweetie runs again, and she is, she's the recipient of the tree attack. I'll just leave it at that. If you've seen Evil Dead, you know what I'm talking about. Um, now it's not quite as graphic, of course, as the original Evil Dead, uh, because I'm sure they have to deal with a bunch more sensors. And she's doing, you know, she's making the faces and stuff. So yeah, you, you you do get a good sense of what's happening if you haven't seen the original. So anyway, she ends up running back to the house, and then Raja offers to take her back, uh, back home, or you know, just off the off the island. So they, of course, they try to start the car, and it's not going. Eventually, he gets it started. They go, of course, the bridge is out, so they can't leave. So now I guess we'll go into spoilers. If you don't want to know how this ends, you can stop the video now. So Sweetie ends up getting possessed. The rest of the group kind of locks her into this room. But so in, so instead of uh, so instead of instead of the demon in the in the basement, you know, coming out like in the original, um, it's just like a, a regular door with like these, uh, you know, with like a padlock type of thing. Uh, with the widest opening I've ever seen in in a door, and it, <laughs> I'm like, do you know she could just probably walk through that, right? So this is what it what it ends up looking like. Uh, yeah. So see, the makeup and stuff's really not too bad for a low budget ripoff, I guess you could say. Um, you know, it's still kind of gross and stuff. So yeah, it it worked enough. Later on, um, Sheena gets possessed. And she attacks Raja. So Raja gets an axe and chops her, basically chops her up. While Sweetie is is looking at all this through the door like, like that, basically. So Raja ends up having a breakdown and he gets attacked by the trees. And, you know, basically it, it's, it's, it's the evil dead ending with, you know, with the, the zooms and the, and, and the trees attacking everyone. And that's basically how it ends. Um, yeah. So that's, uh, that's Bollywood evil dead. Uh, it was fun. I'm not going to say it wasn't cause it was, I, I was entertained. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's like a really, uh, it's a super low budget ripoff of a low budget movie. So it's, you know, the quality of course varies wildly throughout the movie. Um, I love the names that they gave him, sweetie and, and all that. I just, I thought it was, I thought it was great. Um, you know, for, for a ripoff, it, it really, especially toward the end, it really followed closely to the original, but um, you know, it was, I, I was never bored. Um, now it's an hour and 43 minutes, uh, which is fairly short for a Bollywood movie. Most Bollywood movies are like two and a half hours or three hours. Um, so yeah, so I was happy to, I was happy that this didn't like, go drag on and on and on. Um, but yeah, overall, uh, I thought it was pretty fun. You know, there and they there, there there was definitely a lot of homages to the original, you know, like the tree attacks and the Book of the Dead, and even the uh, the the slapping scene. If you know what I'm talking about, they, they even did that in this. Um, I mean, they they really covered uh, just about everything. If you're an Evil Dead fan, you'll definitely recognize a bunch of stuff in this movie. Like, now that being said, at an hour and forty three minutes, I did find it a little long. Um, you know, I, I if I was editing it, I probably would have edited out at least twenty minutes, if not more. Um, and most of the gory stuff was was off screen. Um, like I said, the the grossest thing was probably 
that right there. That's probably the craziest looking thing in the movie. Um, there was a cool little like blood splatter scene uh, that was sort of left in. Um, so there was a little bit of gore in it, not not a ton, you know. It, it was it was okay. So if you're looking for that, this is probably not your movie. Um, but yeah, and so I I enjoyed it. I would give this movie. I would say two and a half bats out of five, just because, of course, it's not it's not an original at all. It, it is a ripoff, um, but they did enough to where I would say, if you're an Evil Dead fan, I would say check it out, um, especially if you like to laugh at stuff and just you know just super goofy. Yeah, so that's my review of Bollywood Evil Dead. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you're new. And other than that, guys, I'll see you all later. And remember to stay spooky. Peace.